Or bands out of the bag. Well, part of that is because I wasn't... I hadn't started the stream up yet. So, my bandwidth will drop. I a got a bit, bit of lag, but it's manageable. Yeah. Seems like I'm up just to the, 300 ping, too. Oh, yeah, your guys' pings are going really high. I mean, partly, you know, I'm in I New Zealand. I've got ping to uh, Captain Badger, Badger, but... I've got good ping to Orinoco. Yeah, but everyone else is... Yeah, I don't know what... Hold on, let me check if my roommates are using the internet for something. One sec. Um, I'm in New Zealand. It might be part of it. Okay, okay, I don't know. Yeah, it's just being bad today. Maybe it's because it's this particular time of day, which is when I is not when I normally stream, so If you um if you want me to drop out, I'm happy to because I'm you know, like I say, I'm I'm on the other side of the world, so it might no, be No, that that would only be affecting know. your connection. Yeah. So okay. if it Yeah, I don't think that would It'd just be between you and A D that would be the issue, but yeah, it's it's fine. Um, let's just instead of trying to do the bag because that seems to mess stuff up, or let's just go clockwise. I don't know why it has purple in the middle for the order. You can adjust it on the options. Yeah. Close the turns window. There we go. Okay. Then what am I going to keep? Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? <laughs> What's right. it all about? That's, this is one of Well, it seems like you have to start there. It just seems like that's where you have to start. So... Keep that one. Put them dump. dump them in different order, though, because I've got a feeling that other people will be joining. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start. Is everyone going to the Drown City? I mean, yeah. may as well, wow. if there's enough <laughs> secrets to go around. Yeah, all right. Drop. <clears throat> um oh sorry are we going in order for discarding uh yeah uh, yeah let me know when it's made it's um, it should be yours you yeah. should have the should have oh the, right i see uh, yeah yep. apologies no worries um I'm gonna grab my phone real quick so i can t tweet out the I'm live again hold on Okay, uh, I think my first action will be to draw from the world deck. Good idea. I always try and do that the f at least the first couple of turns. Because, like, you got to get it while it's still cheap enough. We're here. Just so there are more stream accessible. Okay, this actually might change my plans for this turn. All right, tweeted. All right, I'm going to flip these two up. 
I'm going to activate the tutor to get a secret. Uh, yeah, so I'm both the tutor. Then I'm going to trade with the spirit snare for three. Playing the arcane cards is my bit. You're stealing <laughs> my bit. Beat you to it. Should I? I'm going to muster the rowdy pub. A good empire setup. I think if I drop from the world deck a second time. And there's that vision. It's a bit higher than usual. The last few games, it's been like three, three searches before we got to the first vision. I will uh, travel to I'll travel to the way station for free. I think. Oh wow, yeah, that's yeah. going to be really helpful cuz then you can j you can hop all the way from the hinterlands over to the cradle for free. Yeah. Um War bands, so that would mean I'd go here. So I'd go to bank two. I can uh, all muster. I'll wayside in, and then I think I'll end my turn there. Okay. Very strong first oh, I turn. Check that out. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Cool. Ah, this sucks. We had four viewers when I had to restart the first time, <laughs> and now we're down to just one. Ah. Uh, hey, hello. viewer. Hello. Thanks for sticking with us. Yes. Call your friends. Yeah. Yeah, thank right, thank I'm you for watching. <laughs> Much apologies for the technical difficulties. This almost never happens. It's on it, like the first Oath stream was the only time I had this much difficulty getting set up. Good grief! Look at all those war bands. Yeah, it's yeah. All right, I think I know what I'm going to do here. Um, I will spend two to search this discard and see what this is oh and don't forget to grab uh your secret from the drowned city oh yes thank you
We'll dump these two. I'm going to search again in the discard. And just to be a nice guy to you guys, because I'm dumping all these over here. I will play this face up. Uh, oh, I can't play face up to the site. That's There's right. No yeah. Do that. Is that, these are misplaced. Yeah. No, leading yeah. me. Yeah. Nah, I <laughs> screwed up my whole plan. I feel like no. that's got to be like some global rule in the mod that uh, there always is one space. Yeah. Which generally there is. Drowned City is the only one that can't have any Denison cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these two back. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Go for uh, it. I'm gonna change my me anyway. Change my play. I'm gonna hang on to the I'm gonna hang on to this one. Here. Um I'm going to spend two to travel up to the ancient city. I'm going to peek at this. I'm just going to double check the card box. Wasn't there another vision in here? No, only one's been drawn. Oh, you just drew it from the discard. I just okay. drew it from there, yeah. Okay, so I should... Right, right. Seems pretty absent-minded of me. This was the one I drew. I'm going to play this to the site. We won from Arcane. Use my last to trade with this guy. Uh, I can't because there's nothing there. Boy, this really sucks. Um, I'm just going to bank it and feel bad about wasting my turn, I guess. <laughs> um, no, I will. I'll use my last to recover the darkest secret for two. So I get the one back and I've got that. So I go up to nine. I didn't really do much of anything and I'm done. Yeah, I'm surprised more people don't just do that when they're recovering for like two. They always like take the time to one by one move them back and forth. And it's like you just drop one of yours. It's, it ends up being the same. Um, okay, so, right, I am going to take my secret, first and foremost, then I'm going to spend two to hop over to the buried giant, Oh. Uh, and I'm going to see, what is this, hmm. I got my eye on that too, you know, just FYI. And just <laughs> FYI, of course, of course. Uh. Well, I am going to take it, so I'm going to burn this secret. 
Okay. Which might be a bit of a, uh, might be jumping the gun a little bit on that, but it is the Cup of Plenty. It's pretty nice. Yes. And that's going to be especially helpful because I am going to flip Rain Boots. Oh, cool. And, uh, oh, I forgot you don't to, have to do spend one for recover and then another for trade. Uh, you oh, don't have yeah. to spend one to trade. You have I the do... Cup of Plenty. Yes, I do still need to do the one for recover, which I forgot. But yeah, I'm down by three. And I'm going to trade with the way station for two favor. Nice. Whoop. And then I'm going to spend another two to hop over to the... Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, actually, well, you before I spend... Secret, so. What's that? You used your secret, so you can't use the berry giant unless you get another oh, secret. Oh, yeah, correct. Um, actually, I meant more uh, I want to muster on the sprawling Good rampart stuff. before I head out. Uh, come on. I need at least a little bit of defense. Then I'm going to spend two. Hop back to the drowned city. And spend one more to recover. What do we have here? Both pretty good. Uh, ooh. Right, and yes, I will recover using these favor that have to be burned. The Grand Mask. Yep, nice. that's, what I, that's what I wanted, but I didn't. That'll be very helpful. Have anything to... And that makes me Oathkeeper. It does. Which I may be jumping the gun a little bit doing that so early into the game, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. Go back up to nine. Take my secret back. This goes to order. That is my turn. I think that that, that went all right. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to hop away for just a moment. Be right back. I'll claim that secret. Um, I will travel to the ancient city. Or two. I'm just going to peek at that relic. Another pretty good relic. What's that? It's another pretty good relic. All the relics are pretty good. Um, I'm going to search here. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take this one. Okay, so, um, so, um, I can give a coin to the Chancellor to move to the Beard Giant, right? Yes, you can. Here you go. Thank you. Appreciate your business. <laughs> and, uh, I'll trade once here. All right, I am back. 
uh, bend one to move to the fertile valley. Oh no, sorry, I just need to flip the, um, I can just flip the secret, right? You can flip secret or pay one supply. Yeah, I'll flip the secret. Uh, pay one's, well, no, the way station only works when you're traveling to the very giant. He's using the very giant's power. Right, I'm just saying, uh, if he wanted to <clears throat> leave the very giant, yeah. the very giant's the only way to do it without spending supply. Yeah. I'm sorry, just kind of, is a flip secret means you can't use it anywhere else, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. But it reflips at the end of your turn. Yeah. Um. Then it's if say you were doing it for a battle plan when you were a defender, it wouldn't flip until the end of your next turn. So that's when it it but, really becomes kind of a risk reward thing. Okay, if they, it's if it's okay, I'm gonna unflip that and take that, pay that supply. Is that all good? Yeah. No problem. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I'll gain two supply from the wayside in. Um, yeah, I'm just going to trade you. This is stupid. I can't do that. Um, I guess as an action, I'll, yeah, I'll take a coin from the any favor bank. Yeah. A hey, uh, muster at the Rowdy Pub. Nice. Three. And I think I just spent that supply. Seems like it, yeah. Uh, so you started here, got a secret, traveled. <laughs> um. Then what did you do? You uh, then I, I searched. Yep. And Search, then I, yeah. So for nothing, uh, I, I spent one to move to the buried then, giant. Then you moved moved to the buried giant for free using the way it's yep. fed in. Then you traded. Then you moved one to the travel to the fertile valley, used uh, wayside in. Wayside in. Then and you mustered. One. That's and right. That's oh, so, yeah. Yep. Sorry, I got confused. That it, my, uh, it was a minor action on the spirit snare. Yep. And I'm um, going to search here. Okay. Two. And just tidy up. Tarth is making lots of money. Mm. Okay, so I had to step away for a sec. No, I moved around marker. So cool. I didn't realize I had when the dog started barking, I had muted and then I never never unmuted and then I was talking to myself. <laughs> I think I'll tutor for a secret. I'm going to travel to the Oops. Fertile Valley. I'll muster on Rowdy Pub. I'm going to travel back to the
What is this? Yeah, that should That's be sufficient, I think. Disgusting. <laughs> I'll take one. Oh, right. I remember uh, what my work around not... last yeah, time the, the, the chipmunking there. happened. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, last time, uh, I basically were, just put my phone, phone on a tripod. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, I, as soon as you said I remember, then I remembered, which is weird. But okay, I'm going to travel back to the Bray Giant using the way station. Nice. I'm going to travel to the Drowned City using the Bray Giant. I'm going to campaign against me. Yes, against you. For what? He wants that mask. Cup of plenty. Oh, cup of plenty. Cup of plenty. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I get uh, two Three for that, dice. and one for, for that. Three total. I'll Three get bullets. ten. Oh, come on. Let me let me grab more. Ten. Wow. You you have mustered a lot. Okay. Oh, that damn browdy pub. Um, yeah, I, my only battle plan is an attack one, so here we go. Come on, give me a good roll. Nope. Nope, that's a terrible roll. So I got six. You roll the six. You One, have... two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I win. Great. Okay, so I lose two. So you lose two. Yep. And you get cup of plenty right, and your oath keeper once more. Yes. So I'm going to campaign. Again? I'm going to target the Grand Mask. Ah. Yeah, it was a bad idea. To make such aggressive moves early on, I guess. Okay. You made yourself a target. I'm gonna roll nine this time. Okay. Well, I mean, I. I think that'll. If be I enough. didn't expect it to matter for at least a couple turns. Okay, roll I got a... five. Yeah, that's pretty good. Five. And yeah, I you, lose two you, warbands though this time. You you beat me again. Okay. Take take, take the mask. Dang it. Time to go fishing hunting, boys. I'll use the spirit snare for a favor from Hearth. I'll use that on... Actually, I'll hold on to that for now. I'll use the wave station to travel back to the Bray Giant. Reveal my... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so I can't... I want to use that secret, so I'm not taking this from Hearth. Uh, I'll trade with the way station. And then, let's see, 12 more bands left. I will sit the whole deck for two because I have the darkest secret. I'm not getting cards that I like. Not at all. Yeah. I mean, when you think about it, the discards are cards that people have thrown away, so... 
<laughs> likelihood yeah. is that they're not. Well, I took I took this from the world deck. Though, oh, did you? So. Okay. Yeah. I must have missed that. Do you know if this um, world deck is particularly heavy in any one particular suit? Arcane, for sure. Okay. Um, if you go have... uh, to it's the... Got a lot of... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I was just going to... Uh, you can click uh, the Chronicle in uh the oath legacy chat and it will show you the more or less the balance uh, okay but what were you gonna say orinoco yeah i was just about to say the same thing uh i put it in discord for you oh thanks okay so i played memory of home <laughs> i don't think that's gonna affect anything because everything ends up in heart <laughs> Yeah, it's that um, rowdy pub. I will trade with the observatory. There's just one. I will recover this relic for three, which go to order. And it is the, the drum. Drum. I think Ooh. it was the drum. Oh, cool! Drum's back. It didn't stay in the reliquary. Actually, I haven't looked at my reliquary. That's okay. definitely lo looking at the board state. It's looking like there's going to be a lot of fighting for relics later on. And I would spend two to travel to. Let's open things up here. We'll go here. Uh, charming don't Valley. Want, don't want to be in the Charming Valley. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, so nothing, nothing happens there. People sitting around. Um, that, those were my last two, so uh, I don't rule anything, so I can't do anything, so I am... Did you gain a warband for traveling? No. Which was the reason I traveled. Um, so I am done. Okay. Um, gosh, yeah, that was a pretty devastating... Uh, turn from the chancellor for me so what am i gonna do uh i suppose i will also do some uh exploring down to this bottom site that is the river okay then i will uh spend three to check the world deck oh then there's the second vision hopefully this is something i want Hmm. Yeah, I suppose just for the favor, I will play this to the site. Discard this vision. And then uh, I'll spend my last one to trade with the scryer for the last Discord favor. Oh, yep, not in a super strong position currently but it's it's still pretty early in the game hopefully i'll be able to come back all right what do you got dog food <laughs> okay i'm gonna um play this advisor Ooh. nice battle of silence and Mm. Um. Yeah, that hearth's got all the 
the one favor, huh? Um, yeah. Okay, I'll trade with the Rally Pub. For one. Yeah, it's a, the Wayside Inn and the Rowdy Pub are just so popular that, mm. um, I suppose. I mean, I you probably looked at the link. Is the Hearth also pretty heavy in this stack? Uh, no, uh, not really. Hearth is not that common, huh. but it's actually it's based, got... based and um, yeah, Nomad. Beast. They've got some really in-demand powers, like. In the course of the same turn, multiple players have been putting two favor each into it, so it's like... I guess Beast has just gone like really buried in the deck then, because I, I haven't Beast seen has Beast 11. at all in this particular mm. game. Yeah. Well, uh, I've got this one, so... <laughs> ah. Oh. oh, that's a real rough one. Yeah. Does that play if you attack each other as well? Yeah, anytime I, we use a battle plan, oh, it's it permanent. has that yeah, added yeah, yeah. cost. There was some discussion about this. If you search on the BGG forums for Gleaming Armor, uh, there's a discussion on Gleaming Armor in Insects 1. Where I, I but think it's the, the, that black. your enemy in battle plans in this case refers to like your opponent in the game campaign, but... But it's uh, I, it's a global you rule. You don't take though. my word for it. That's fine. Like, it is kind of a weird, tenuous. Thing. Well, um, my interpretation yeah. is because it's the the black braid. It's that means it's a global rule. But uh, gleaming yeah, armor would... is a black braid as well. <sighs> what it, well? What is gleaming armor? What it? What's the effect there? It is a black braid card. Your enemies' battle plans each have an add cost of secret. Yeah, I, I I feel like I'd interpret it the same way. Of that just affects every single battle plan your enemies have. Um. um yeah, I don't know. That one could definitely use an FAQ. Yeah. Okay, C sent in the chat points every out. Every other in the glossary, there's there's two like, separate. There's like yeah, your the enemy. There's is, enemy yeah. and your enemy as two separate glossary oh. definitions. That's where yes. that came from. Yeah, C sent in the chat points out your enemy specifically means the person campaigning against you. It is a yeah. defined word in the rule book. So okay, um, I guess okay. yeah, only in in uh, your particular yeah. campaigns. If you are three for a certain if you are the chancellor yeah. or a citizen, an ex an, an exile is your enemy. Any other player, if you are an exile or a citizen, check out ten point two nine. There's actually two, sadly, there, there are two entries. There's enemy at 10.7, and there's your enemy, 10.29, two separate glossary references. Hmm. And that's where the confusion comes from. Yeah, I, I'll, I uh, dog, do. dog food, keep going with your turn. I'll read through oh, that. Oh, yeah, your enemy. I would think that the your enemy being more specific would be the one that applies to the card. But Yeah, it's... There was some discussion. Your enemy only appears on is only related to campaigns. Yes. It appears on campaign related stuff. Yes. Typically only battle plans, but in these in this case. Hmm. Yeah, that seems I like would... um. That 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 one's a bit confusing. I feel I kind of wish those terms weren't so similar. I have to admit, I'm. I would go with the glossary definition of your enemy in this case, but that's just that's just hmm. okay. This is bad. Uh, do, 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 I'm going to uh, swap this card out. Someone in the chat says, uh, do you guys have fun figuring this flim flam out? Yes. <laughs> that's that's kind of the entire joy of Oath his <laughs> working or any leader game really. Like so much of it is just like um deciphering what specific rules are meant to convey. And generally you don't find too many questions like that. They're pretty clear on a lot of things, but every now and then, especially with something as complex as Oath, there's always the little questions where you're like I'm not sure.
Who said that in the chat? Uh, Onomata Player. <laughs> yeah. It's a great name. It, t- uh, it took me a minute to figure out how to say it, but that's, that's good. Although I think you okay. spelt, that's not how onomatopoeia would be spelt. So, points <laughs> off for that. Um, I, I'm going to just end my turn because this is trash. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm fishing for nothing. <laughs> Nothing about okay, well then we're into okay. round three. Yep. Yeah, and you are in a very uh, comfortable uh, position with that oath keeper. I, I didn't want to tip tip my hand, but I, I was feeling very smug earlier. Really. I tried getting rid of this buried giant with this oath super highway deal at the end of yeah. the last game, and somebody took it. Somebody took it back from me. I knew I was going to lose, so I was just trying to burn stuff down, and I was unsuccessful. Yeah, I mean. That last game, it was going all over the place. I gave it a good run, but... on PlayStation this time. Okay, uh, I got sitting on a bunch of travel powers, so I think having the dragon skin drum would be great right now. Oh, boy. Yeah. So we're going to travel using the Braid Giant to the Charming Valley. And then I'm going to campaign... And I will target the dragon skin drum. Man, you're really, really yeah, trying to yeah. just grab it all. Yeah. Yeah, I'll roll ten. And I've just got, I've just got the two, right? I believe so. Yeah. Two for the drum. Oof. All right. Here we go. All right. So that's five versus. Five. Above. Well, at least uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten. six, yeah. and eight. The warband. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll get one back pretty soon. Yeah. Wow. I get the drum. Uh, and then I'll use waste station to come back and get a warband. Uh. And uh, let's see what can I do here. I'm going to banish white because it's starting to look scary. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, do I need to spend a supply for that even? Yeah. Oh I guess I'll do wow! It. Yeah, you are truly a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your warband. Oh yeah, I do. Thank you. Also, I need to burn warband because now I'm I'm in this falling into the low uh, supply. I, I'm, I'm. So not... let's uh, let's campaign. Okay. I'm banishing you. Um Okay, I have eight uh dice, I guess. You got two dice. dice. Yeah. You'll add eight to the result. What's that? You will add eight to the result. Oh of course, of course. Um Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> I'll get eleven dice. Also you only add six to the result, you get the six war bands, two dice. Oh how many di- war bands? Oh that's six. Yeah. I roll 11. Could you, uh, clone? Oh, yep. Hold on, hold on. I thought I'd put... I, I guess you just can't give the permission to clone. Yeah, you can. If you, uh, left-click on someone's name hmm. on the upper right, you can promote them. Okay. I yeah, I'll just I'll guess... do that for you, because you always need extra. I thought I had the permission cool. set up. Yeah, it's everything except music, so I guess you just have to promote is the only way to give him that ability. Okay, I'm gonna right. roll. Uh, no battle plans. Okay. Oh, so that's six versus uh, uh, at least seven. Four a million, yes. So that's eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten again. Ten? ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. I okay, so you lose three warbands. I think the Chancellor needs the Cursed Cauldron, too, so that as he goes around destroying everything, he just gets more stuff. No. That would be... That would be... Oh, crazy. boy. Who where knows where going? it could be? Uh, I'm going to s- see. I think you can go to the Ancient City. Yeah. Or actually... Yeah, the ancient city is just fine. Uh, I'm going to wait site in. 
think. I will use Spirit Snare. Uh, Wayside in. Two. And then, uh, I guess I'll end my turn. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, wait. <laughs> Wow, yeah, you are definitely a force to be reckoned with here. Uh, oh, I can move free. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll do that. Just stay there. Yeah, that way station combined oh, with the yeah, very you giant. You got a secret on, you got a, a secret on spirit snare. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> um, well... I might as well do all of the exiles of service and search the world deck again for two. Oops, I didn't reload. Uh, I'll search the world deck for two. I need to look up because I know there's a specific there's a specific way that you set up the chronicle uh, and I f I'm pretty sure the second vision was high up in the the packet it would have been in so I want to figure out the the probability that we're gonna run into another vision soon So I played that to the site to gain a favor. Um, I just realized that taking that move gave me a warband, uh, which oh, would cause me yeah. to have one less supply, which uh, I prefer not to do, but I already, I did it, so I'm just going to think I'm already... Um, yeah. All right, I'll search the world deck again, because... What the hell else am I going to do? All right, we get the active visions. Okay, it could be up to like four searches before we get to that third vision, I think. Unless I miscounted that. Nope, I just, I just got it. So. Really? Okay. Visions are live. Huh. Somebody had to do it. Yeah, I. I need to get a better handle on how that works. The the stacking at the in the chronicle. I think there's a reference for it. But like how do you build the world deck or oh no the Yeah. Yeah. I mean I was just looking at it. And there's I guess I right misinterpreted it. I will um, play this to my hand. And I'll play it face up. The first right twelve away. cards should have two visions in them and the next eighteen cards after that should have three. Oh, whatever yes. Is left. Okay, five yeah, that's, visions. I misread how many visions were in each stack, so... So the first two visions, if they're higher up, then you have a, a decent break, but since we got the third one there... Yeah, the other two could be anywhere coming up. Hmm. I Although... Will, I'll, use my, I'll use my last two. Search again. With how strong the Chancellor is, we might only be able to really win by vision, so... Yep, that's... That's sort of my thought. But now that they cost four... And that one right on top. I don't know if that, I'd want to go for that. <laughs> Uh. 
stump these two play long bows to the site just to make the bandits happy. Mm. Probably dumb, but that's what I'm good at. So, <laughs> um, you're seeing relic breakers out too. Okay, I am going to start out by searching this discard. Hopefully, something useful. Hmm. Not very. I'm just going to drop this to use a... Uh, to get the favor. Might be foolish, but at least the bandits can't use it. Um, come on, let me select the cards. There we go, there we go. Those will go out there. And I am going to muster twice, one at each. Or actually, I'm going to muster once. You don't rule it, so. I know. So yeah, don't I don't get the extra. Get the extra. So I'm just going to muster once um, campaign against the bandits or the river. It's and then I will, if I win this, I will muster again. So I will do... Bandits will get to activate longbows. What? But that's not it. The this... bandits will get longbows. Uh, okay, I thought rule. they only activated ones at the site. Let me double check that. Because it, it so rarely comes up that they actually have one. Um, looking it up. Uh, muster, recover, campaign. Let's use all battle plans that rule at no cost. Wow, okay. In that case, I will be uh, doing all four because I still think three versus one should be fine. And then, yeah, they get the one. I'll just roll all of them. So here we go. Okay, that's... Yep, I win that. Winner. So I'm going to drop this guy. Drop these two right here. And then I will muster now that I rule it so that I can get three warbands. There we go. So, not super eventful turn, but I got some done. Uh, Yeah, and I'll just drop this, drop that. Should I have used rain? No, I shouldn't have used rain boots for that. That's, that was nothing. All right, dog food's turn, and I am uh, going to run away once more. So I will, I will be... Okay. Oh, uh, trade here? right before I do, uh, Onomata player asks, uh, I'm struggling to see who's doing well. Yeah, it's a bit nope. tricky. Uh, right now, the <laughs> Chancellor is winning well by a great deal. <laughs> yes. Mainly because right now, uh, the winning condition is to have the most relics and banners, and he has four relics compared to, uh, I believe, yeah, Blue has one banner. So Chancellor is far ahead in this particular game. With the Rowdy Pub basically giving him however big an army as he wants. Yeah. And but it is still two turns. And complete mobility. It, it is still at least two rounds yeah. before he can even win to begin with. So we might be able to yeah. get we one might. of the alternate win conditions. I'll spend a nasty three to come down here. All right. Uh, okay, and yeah, now I will uh, uh away for a minute. I will be right back. There's a relic there. Um. 
I'll play this card to it. And uh, trade with Grasping Vines for two favors. Um, then I'll. Oh, that's cool. Um, pay, so pay the chancellor. Didn't... Sorry. Oh, I'm just looking at this card, grasping vine. So anyone who leaves the bandit site has to kill Warbin on the. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'll pay the chancellor. One to travel to the very giant for the way station. Cost you a war band then. Yep. Oops. Um then move to the fertile valley for one. Oh, Pay to gain two supply here. Um, muster at the Rowdy Pub. For three. And uh, muster at Spirit's Spirit Snare for two. So I was clean up. Oh, round four. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, trap. Get a warband. And then I'm going to campaign. And I'm going to banish the white exile. Oh, for God's sake. Just keep coming back. <laughs> Five. I'm gonna roll all uh all eleven. Two, so So looks like you rolled a uh nine, which is not bad. Uh, I lose two right away from attrition. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So three more bands get killed. And then, so three or more bands get killed. I believe I beat nine. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, sorry, I should have gone. Yeah, okay. so I rolled, you rolled a nine, I believe. So three of your warbands get killed, and you only have one favor. Uh, and I will move you to the wastes. And then I'm going to muster.
that shit on. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. I'm going to use the Wayside Inn to travel to uh, the Brewery Giant for free. I'm going to flip a secret. I'm going to travel to the river for free. Get a warband. I'm going to campaign. And I'm going to banish yellow. I think Iggy stepped away for a minute. He's AFK, he's AFK so I need to wait for him to get back. So you'll have three, three dice. Uh, yeah, he will. He'll have three dice and six war bands. And I'll roll 14, I guess. What? Or, uh... Sure. Okay, I am back. You're being banished, Iggy. Nah, what? <laughs> Why? I got, your, I got your three. He just wants to kill armies. I have four. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, it's to be evil, but man, you're yeah, yeah you're being I real aggressive this game. Next biggest threat. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's dang. Yeah, this is definitely gonna go to Chancellor. All right. I don't so you have do any get battle plan, so I'm just gonna go for it. You get to roll yeah. this extra one because you do roll this site. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. Well. Okay. There's that. Come on. Let me yeah. select the die. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's because you're rolling. It's lagging out. Holy that shit, one. what is this? Uh, okay, cow. so I got I got six, eight, <laughs> and you got... Uh, wow. Okay, yeah, so you got 12, <laughs> 14... Four, five, six, seven. Did I just lose seven to 17, attrition? 17... So you got 19, and you definitely won. Seven, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you lose seven. That's, that's a lot of skulls, wow. but it also means that you have a, an incredibly high roll. Okay, well, um, so three of your war bands get killed. Uh, wait, three? Because of the six. Two, two on oh, the yeah, two yeah. on the card, one on the. Uh, what kind of? That's the first time I've seen that many. Yeah. So it should be average one in six, right? So if I roll fourteen, it should be like two. Oh. That's that is incredible. I mean, yeah. it was a, a great roll in a lot of ways, and you definitely had enough warbands to be able to handle it. I could use wayside in. He's I could gonna, use spirit snare. There, and then he's gonna muster for three on three. Yeah, I'm a little confused why you even rolled so many dice. It's not like I could have had had that I'm much. I'm hoping that I'd defend. lose like four or something, and it would. I guess I, would lose, oh. I don't know. I figured like the max you could roll. I Maybe I just like rolling lots of dice. I mean, it is fun. I I will not <laughs> deny. Just like uh, yeah, definitely overkill. <laughs> you, I it's then, it's surprising. This back. is very out of the norm for you. You're usually not nearly this aggressive. Yeah, I don't know, but I just yeah. <laughs> a lot I'm of going to just back to, yeah. I'm going to waste, I'm going to use Buried Giant to just go somewhere to get a Warband. And then I'm going to uh, Wayside in back for the Warband. Oh, okay. Actually, I probably didn't need to do that. Uh, you do. Yeah, let's not do that. Actually. I don't even know. I gotta say, 
I probably shouldn't speak up too much, but one of the things that I am that I don't have going for me in this game is access to a lot of favor. So <sighs> that might be my Achilles heel. I mean, you're still in a strong enough position. I think you're you're going to be fine. As long as you can hold it for another, like, another turn. I mean, you're definitely going to get that first roll. I will spend one trade I... with the relic. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I, I did manage you, so. Oh, yeah, that. yeah. Uh, Fanthak in the chat says, I'm surprised no one has picked up the people's favor to take away some of those powerful sites. I've been mm. trying to, but he's banishing us left and right, so, like, I keep, my economy keeps getting, uh, kneecapped, so. I don't know that it... I also, you know, if... If I go for the people's favor and, and try to get rid of some of the like the ones that he's making good use of, it's not actually going to help me that much on my turn. Like it's going to help the table, I guess. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I I guess right now, honestly, any anything that can hurt the chancellor yeah. is a net win for everybody else yeah. because we're just we're we're just getting pummeled. I, f I feel like at this point, it's probably for the best. <laughs> I will spend three to travel to the drowned city. And lose a war band in doing so. Lose a war band. Oh, grasping vines. Grasping oh no, vines. I didn't even see that come out. Yikes. I'll spend one to recover this stupid thing. Because why not? Yeah, not especially helpful, that one. And that's my turn. I go all the way back to full. I get my secret back. And I'm done. Wow. Yeah, I have no idea what I want to do. I just, I got like nothing. I keep, I keep getting absolutely wrecked. Really should not have been so aggressive on my first turn. <laughs> um, uh, Relic Breaker is not really useful right now. And I'm in the Charming Valley, so it's going to cost me so much just to leave. Oh, man. An extra supply and a warband because of those grasping vines. Hmm, yeah. Well, you know what? I am going to spend two to ch check check in here. Maybe I'll be able to get something for my advisors to get a decent trade. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, no, that doesn't really help me. I, uh, no, no, not very helpful at all. Uh, guess I'll hang on to, well, yeah, I'll hang on to this one. And then... Spend two to head to the very it's giant. It's actually three, unfortunately. Was that? It's actually three, unfortunately. Oh, why? Because of the charming valley. Oh right. Well, whatever. I'll just spend it to use waystation then. 
Okay. And does it also kill a warband? Yeah, it, does, it does kill a warband. Yeah. That was not my intention. I'm very sorry. I mean, it's fine. I wasn't even really needing warband specifically. And then I will trade with Waystation, which only gets me the one, because there's only one left, but whatever. Ugh. What a what a just pff, of turn. It's terrible. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Man, I just and I don't even blame you. I actually kind of appreciate it. I've um you're really showing how powerful the chancellor can be. Like it's kind of it's kind of miserable being in the middle of it, but I'm I'm not upset necessarily, because <laughs> it it is just like a very different game, and I always love being able to be surprised at how a game of Oath can go. Okay, I've mustered on the grasping vines. Anamata player says, "Time to bring the fire, dog food." <laughs> um. <sighs> You know, actually, four citizenship card might be a good way out. Yep. What is the um? What's the successor is people's favor. Favor, yes. That's... No way I'm giving, making anyone a citizen because I cannot do that one. Ah, okay. But a fourth citizenship card. That'd be another deal. I mean, that's the big thing. It's like it wouldn't even help you. Ballot box um, or long lost error or something like that. It's really, There's I mean, a, every citizen. suit has one. Yeah. Yep. Long lost there for beast. Uh, it's like something packed, ancient packed for Discord. It's been two to come to Chumming Valley. This has martial culture for order. Nomad has. Hearth has the ballot box. You have to lose a warband, White. Of course. And, uh,. Nomad and Arcane. Arcane's the one where you like you give the. It's like bewitched or so. No. If you have more than a chancellor, you become a citizen or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And the Nomad one, I'm can't quite remember. Uh, it's all out of turn. I'm I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sad. That's all. That's all I got. There's nothing in the discard pile here. Outside of a supremacy game, I'm, why would the Chancellor even make someone a citizen? I can be handy. Uh, it's. I think citizens are probably one of the most dangerous players to the Chancellor, like the biggest threats to the Chancellor. But yes. like, if you have, if you have the entire board against you, right? right. Um, making making someone a citizen doesn't make them an ally, they're still an opponent, but at least it's an opponent who has some conflicting goals with your other opponent. So it kind of divides the opposition a little. That's true. It's more... It's or more... sometimes... The most common time is when you'll just play and lose if you don't. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, and sometimes, sometimes, if the game already starts with a citizen, it's handy to make another citizen. Especially at uh, the yeah, so then they, they're competing with each other. Yep. Yeah, this okay. might be over pretty quick. Because we're, yeah. we're already in round five. It's only been yeah. about an hour of, well, an hour of play. I mean, there was a little, half hour of just technical difficulties. Are these just Hang exiles, on. like, rushing through their turns because they've given up? Well, it's also when you don't have much to do on your turn, you kind of yeah. don't overthink it, you know? You just do what you can. I am going to... 
Oh no. Travel here. Get a war band. <laughs> I'm gonna campaign against the bandits. Shit. I'll target this side. Uh, yeah. He wants that. Fast. Yeah. Yeah, he wants that. Okay. Why not go for the drowned city too while you're at it? <laughs> uh, no thanks. Yeah, drowned city go isn't really works. good for much. Have your one more. I'll give you one more event. Uh, <laughs> two dice and two war bands versus uh, what makes sense here. Probably six dice. Anyone want to roll for the bandits? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it's six. I mean, you can pick whatever oh, you want. Seven. I'm going to roll seven because the bandits have yeah. two. All right, and you got the go. bandits have two? Yes. Okay. Rolling for them. They got. Hopefully, I don't roll six skulls. Uh, no. You got four. So that definitely wins against their uh, two. Nice. I'm... Now, what are you going to. God, you just had like I such a we... strong first yeah. turn. Like, I'm, it ended I'm up with a great really economy. Great. Yes, and a great I knew army. you were going to do that. I knew you were going to yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah. So then he gets three more war bands for that. Yeah. I do. I mean, nobody's taking away Oathkeeper without battling you for at least a couple of those relics. And then I will use Waste Station. Uh, down to four war band in my bag. I think. I might just end my turn there. Yeah. Well, Thank. I don't even know. Two to travel to the ancient city. One to trade with Hearth. Two to search this discard pile. Ah, what happened? Whoa. Ah. Uh some reason, sometimes when it's not lined up perfectly, the snaps snap. just yep. don't work. Uh, Fanthax says, maybe that top vision is a conspiracy. Yellow sitting right with the Chancellor can make up for an interesting power play, taking the scepter and granting citizenship if he can hold on to it for another turn. I think I know where the conspiracy is, though. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Yeah, could I be interesting. I have any... I'd need to so, get my I mean, advisor no set up taken... for it anyway, so... I the don't fact know. that no ha... one's taken that top one suggests we know where the conspiracy is. Has anyone pulled this conspiracy I yet? I might be wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll say with honesty, I have not seen the conspiracy yet, but I've only seen two of the three visions that are out there. I will, I will admit that I have seen it. Okay, so it's not oh. that one on the top. I don't know, which discard would it? Probably the Hinterland. Uh, well, I'm just going to check. Oh, whoops. Well, Probably should keep my mouse shut. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think Captain Badger's got it. It's... I mean, yeah, yeah Badger that's, could that's have right. it. I'm getting rid of this. That's what I'm... 
I'm oh, did you do the... Points. Was that from discard or from the world deck? No, that would have had to have been discard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also getting rid of this. I'll play this. At least up here. That's something. Was that the conspiracy? I'll go for it. I can get it. <laughs> I guess you shouldn't say that because then if you say yes or no, that would let us know what you have in your uh, advisors. Oh. No one... Yellow... Oh, sorry. White doesn't have a, an active conspiracy against me, though. He needs one other... One he more arcane yeah. or no red card. Right. right. But he's close. He's close. Yellow and white are both deeply close. And now blue, so I feel like I got nothing I can much I can really do. One to muster. Because I got no guys. And I want one to recover the people's favor for two, I guess. Oh. One on there, and I'll put this one in. You can put it anywhere you want. I'll put it in hearth. No. What? Put it in Nomad. I need it. All right, I'll put it in Nomad. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Chancellor keeps, like, draining it. I need at least some. All right, that's all I can do. Okay. This goes to Arcane. Let me check with, with that. Uh, this goes here. I hit this button, and then I go cry in a corner because this is terrible. I know, that's how I'm feeling, too. I, 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 a big part of it's my fault, because, like, I just... I was just like, I'll just grab both Keeper, won't be a problem. But then, no, huge problem. Huge problem. I didn't have any plans after that, so it is not going very well for me. Okay, um, what can I do? What do I want to do? I mean, that might have been the conspiracy in here, which I could grab. At worst, well... I don't have people's favor, so it's not... Oh, you know what? I will start out just by trading for that favor that Blue so kindly left for me. Um, or You know what? Actually, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. Get an order favor. Then I will flip this. Mm. And I'll trade with Waste Station for secrets. Oh, nice. There we go. And I can get two of those. So that's there. That's something. I think burning that secret, that extra drowned city secret for the relic early on, especially because I immediately lost the relic. That was yeah. that was my big mistake. Um. And then yeah, I will just spend two to search this discard. Hmm. Anything decent? Uh, oh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I will, I will keep this one. Um. So that's your one on Nomad Advisor. Uh, could be. It is until you flip it up and it reveal a Nomad. Oh, true. Okay, that's okay. that's fair. That's fair. I mean, as long as I only play other nomads, it won't matter. Yeah. Uh, let me see. And then I still have two left. I guess I'll flip a secret to use buried giant, uh, which still loses me a warband because of grasping vines. Um, right. That's correct. Uh, mm -hmm. traveling from. Yep. So that does. Then I will 
Um, trade. Or no, I won't trade. I'll just use Spirit Snare to grab that Nomad. And then I will immediately use it to muster at the Rowdy Pub to get any kind of warbands going on. And what did this do again? Yeah, that's just advisor limit. Yeah. I'll just bank that. Start up with full supply. That's at least something. Okay. And that's... Yeah, that's my turn. I'll, I'll clean up here. Oh, boy. I feel like I'm getting some momentum, but it's a little late for it. <laughs> what do you got, dog food? Are you there? I am, sorry. Okay, okay. Just checking you weren't <laughs> muted or something. No, I'm just, just deep, um deep in thought. I can I can respect that. This definitely feels like the kind of game you would set up in like a a, a study. Mm -hmm. Just sort of thoughtfully pour over it with like a glass of scotch. Okay. No, I can't do that. Okay, um I'm just gonna do my best. Muster twice. Where's the supply? Three. Okay. Four. It's nine war bands, isn't it? It is nine warbands. Um, I'm going to campaign for the Charming Valley, I guess. Okay. Okay. Get down to the battle zone here. Um, so I'll get two. Remember, you've got that added cost for any warbands you play. Uh, any battle plans. You have insect swarm. Yeah. Uh, I will not activate any battle. Okay. Oh boy. All right, that's Just ten. Or, uh, yeah, I believe 10 versus uh, 9. No, I haven't rolled yet. Oh, you haven't rolled he hasn't yet? hasn't rolled yet. Okay. No. You just grouped them up. Oof. Uh -huh. That's a much worse roll, so that's uh, 5. <laughs> Wait, you might be able to do it just by. You would need to get rid of 6. Two, 4, 5, 6. Four. That's 6. That's 6. 6. Roll of 6. One, two. Oh, uh, this two. one. I didn't see that. Three, there. three, three that's six. Three four, four, five, yeah. six. So you, win. Yep. Yeah. you take one loss from attrition, but yeah. that's it. One purple warband. Sack five to uh to win this. It's good to my board actually. Why is he sacking five? What? Wouldn't he? No, it was just three. Four, right? Oh, right. Your I pawn wasn't four. there. What am I thinking? Never mind. Yeah, you you got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is it? Um. Yeah, and I'll draw from here as well. My last action.
Oh, sneak attack. That's uh, actually a pretty a good card to, against me. Yeah. Given uh, my habits this game. Onomata player says, is this the fire? <laughs> Has the fire <laughs> arrived? So I guess I get to roll? Yeah, yeah. well, ooh, where's it at? Let me get a good look at it for the stream. Uh, all right. Roll away. Should I roll it on top of the rose? Uh, uh oh! oh. Uh, a six, six roll. Oh, that almost never happens. Okay. Damn it! I really wanted to. I really wanted to have a chance to. Yeah, I want. You to did see have it. Ah, oh, if I'd had it, I'd I like absolutely would have done it. I, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to do it too early because then you're just gonna sit on me. Yeah, I, I never had the advisors to. I kept looking to get them, but was was this um this one on the top of the world deck? Was that the the vision of um for the people's favor? Uh, it is. Yes. Yeah, yeah I was gonna try it. and take that. I was gonna try and take the people's favor just for, so that like the game would go another round. But oh mm. man. Yeah. That was so funny. Like I started off planning to kind of leech off everyone else's like. Kind of, I was hoping everyone else would kind of be reasonably equal, and then I could kind of leech off that, and um, we just weren't. <laughs> we just got stomped. I was in a really secure position. Like... Well, you could, you could, you could, you could move for free, so you yeah. could spend all your time. You could spend. I can all project your time basically supply, all this force anywhere to the board, anywhere you wanted, and you could always buy two extra move. You could always buy two extra supply, and you could always. And then when you took the drum, every time you move for free, I basically was like was a, punishing myself. So I was it never was, it was basically yeah, it was a free move plus half a muster every time you moved. Yeah, you just uh, you just really stirred out in such a strong position. Yeah, actually, and, with the drum, it, it essentially becomes like um, each secret I have could be a free muster moving back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Two warmen. Oh, this is going to be an interesting empire as well, because you have the river. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. The river, the wastes, the... Buried... Well, I guess it depends on what the next oath is going to be. All right. If the game had continued, I think my next target would have been the people's favor. Yeah, I knew you were going to come after me sooner or later. Yep. Well, if you hadn't, if you hadn't blown up this relic out here... I probably would have come and tried to get it just to do something. Yep. All right, game saved so that we can uh we can declare the winner. Do, 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 do. It was weird how safe safe the banners were, just with so few tokens on them. I, I think that was the most entrenched chance. I've never I've never seen something like that. Yeah. In uh I knew it was trouble last game when all this stuff survived. Yeah. All right. What do you want the oath to be for your next game? I would go supremacy. Oh yeah. 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 Supremacy definitely makes sense. Yeah. Uh, would you want an edifice? Let's see. Uh, we our king one's broken really care for the hearth line. Maybe we could turn the scryer into the festival district. That'd be fun. Yeah. All right. Okay. Scryer. Confirm. Yeah. Yeah, that's always fun. And then Arcane's the only one you can add, apparently. Mm -hmm. And confirm. Don't glitch out. Ah, there we go. Good. All cool. right. Good game. Yeah. I will drop this Again. into both uh, the Oath Legacy in Woodland Warriors, and I will drop it into my own chat. So if you guys copy and paste this, if you, if you open up the Oath on TTS and hit Import Chronicle, copy and paste that into it, you can play the next game in this Chronicle from right where we left off. Uh, you could also, you, if you want to... Can you load it in? You just, I want to see what it looks like. Was that? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll just hit set I think I know what it looks like. There's a way you can do it if... Without spoiling cards, because it unfortunately shuffles it during the chronicle step, so oh. you'll see the. 
starting advisors. Oh. oh. Yeah. Do it is just everyone. I'll just look on. I'll just look on the. I'll just look on the legacy. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah, and we I'll just. It now. The technique is everyone becomes a spectator, then the host becomes some exile and picks some players who are not actually at their seats. And yeah, repeat. that's all right. I'll just look at the. I'll just look at the legacy. All right, and I will also drop into the chat a link to the Woodland Warriors Discord. It's the uh, Leader Games official Discord. They do LFGs for Oath, Root, Fort, all the Leader Games. Uh, Vast, which is... I've been playing a little bit of Vast lately. It's uh, the less active one, but it, it's pretty fun. Uh, thanks for joining in for the stream, guys. Good game. Yeah, good game. Thanks for joining. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. All right, have a great weekend, guys. You too. Later. Bye. Bye. All right, and actually, uh, yeah, that went much faster than I expected, so uh, stay tuned, guys. I'm actually going to, I think, I'm going to go back to the main menu, and I think I will play a little bit of the Stardew Valley board game, solo mode. I've been playing that lately. I meant to do a stream on Thursday, uh, but Thursday just ended up being not a great day for me. So, yeah, let's let's just do that. Real quick game. Doesn't take too long, and I can... uh. Show you guys what it is. Loading in. I really love the scripting in this particular module. Um, so yeah, let's let's continue on. Uh, oh, come on. Ah, uh, no, don't crash on me. <laughs> no. Okay. This is what I get for being spontaneous. Oh boy. Oh, it's loading in. Come on. Come on. I'll load it I'll load it all in and then I'm gonna go quickly refill my water bottle and then I'll yeah, I'll play it. it takes like eh, half hour, maybe forty minutes if I really drag my feet. But it's a pretty pretty quick kind of game. It's a really hard game. I have not come even close to winning it yet. Alright, and then yeah, all this scripting is very nice. Uh I'll set up a randomized game. All comes in. Watch watch right here. Uh I love that. I love how the money cascades in to the bowl. Very, very nice. Okay, then I will be the red player. Not that it really matters in a single player game. And then, yeah, I will go, uh, I will change the settings real quick here, and then I will go refill my water, and then I will be, I will be right back. Stardew Valley board game solo. Uh, it's not really early access. It is not multiplayer. It's not a war game. Let's see, solitaire, maybe. Solo. Uh, uh, yeah, that should be fine. Update. Then I will close that. Okay, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll play a quick game of this, and then I will end out the stream. So, so be right back.
Okay, tweeted it out. I'm gonna play some Stardew. Uh, I take some umbrage, because very recently, uh, Shut Up and Sit Down, the popular board game review website, um, reviewed this, and they, uh, the thing they said is, it's not for fans of the video game, and their point was, well, it's too hard, and you never feel like you can get everything done, which says more a lot about how they play Stardew Valley the video game, because in my experience with Stardew Valley the video game, yeah, you can never get everything done, and it's very stressful if you're playing it, you know, to actually, like, get stuff done. So, it's similar, people say that about Harvest Moon as well. They're just like, oh, it's just like a fun little farming game. It's like, no, it's a hardcore strategy game if you're playing it right. So, th this feels pretty accurate, but... um. With all of that said, let's get into it. Uh, I'm not going to go into the rules too much because I don't have time. I will when I do a full stream of just this game. But effectively, I need to finish off these. And actually, I'm going to... Uh, generally, you would have to reveal these throughout gameplay, but I'm going to play slightly easier mode where they're already revealed. So I effectively just need to do all of these different goals. And I need to donate all of these things to the community center, uh, right there. So, let's get into it. Uh, what actually is my goal? Explore the mine. I basically have to start doing that immediately. Uh, I gotta get animals and expand the farm, so I am going to get a coop, so I gotta do something about that. Um, I gotta get some money. So, first things first, uh, I gotta flip the first season card. Almost forgot. Okay, so we get an event card, and we got... Bubbly spot. Draw and keep one tile from the fishing bag. I got... Ooh, an albacore. Okay, that's worth some money. Uh, oh, yeah, and I got a... Let's see. Uh, I usually like a pickaxe, but actually in this case, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the hoe. All right. So that will help me with my farming. Um, okay, so I got that. I got the fish. Uh, ooh, we start with the Joja tile on the board. Hopefully this isn't the mine. Nope, it is. Uh, it is the animals. So now I have to, uh, I get way, way less opportunities unless I can get rid of that. That sucks, but whatever. Um, okay. And then we can sell. So I am going to, well, wait a minute. Do I want that? Uh, I don't, it's not a lake fish. So no, I am just going to discard it for two coins. And then I am going to start out over here, and I'm going to buy three of the spring crops. They cost one coin for each seed. So I'm going to buy potato, which must go in the three spot, strawberry, which goes in four, and cauliflower, which goes in five. So that is my first action. I don't really have anything to sell since I already sold it before. I don't have anything to make friends, so I am just going to hop over here, and in doing so, I can grab one of these forgeables. I'm going to grab the wood, because I'll need two for the cube. Then uh, up here, I will do my second action for this turn, which is going to be to water the crops, which would move them along, but this has a lovely little scripting, so you just click this, and it scoots them for you automatically. Really, really love that. I would definitely recommend this particular mod um, if you were going to play this game so it's the one uh hold on i will show you it is this one so look for the one with this particular this particular picture in the workshop there's like three uh i test them all out this is the one that i like the most so i i would recommend that if you're interested um okay so i wired the crops and i don't have really anything to do any of these i don't have any stone i don't have any copper so we aren't going to do anything there. Then, next card. No, the crow. Okay, I will get rid of this strawberry. A crow coming ate it up. The red crow. And then, another event card. Nice. We got... Uh, flip all owned... Uh, I don't have any animals, so that's a complete waste to me. And I have nothing to sell. Great. Not super helpful. Um, That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I could water the crops... Uh, I could go fishing. I need to get to the lake. 
Uh, I, yeah, I'm going to water the crops so that I can get this parsnip. See that? Moves it right up there. Um, and I'm going to need that for that, so I'll keep it in the bottom row. And then I will scoot over here. Do I want to do lake fishing or do I want to explore the mine? Uh, oh, there's no lake fish in here anyway, so yeah, I will explore the mine. So to do that, I just take two of these stardew die and roll them. We got, oh, come on. That one was bent, so we're going to re-roll that. Okay, we got a Junimo and a uh, heart. So if, as you can see, here, I will do it. Uh, you basically line them up, so then that means that choo -choo and choo-choo, and so they are both monster spaces, which means gain one stone. Monster spaces are not always a bad thing. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I get to pick one of these forgeables. I will pick this one. It is daffodil. Okay. Whoops. Uh, yeah. That's not too bad. Um, I'll probably sell that for like one. Or no, I'll save it to gift to somebody. Okay, and then I have the parsnip that I'm going to donate. So that is my turn. I'm going to hop back over here, and I will use the stone to build some stairs, which lets me descend in the mine. There we go. And then I uh, will do another season card. Okay, that would be first player marker, which is over here, but since I'm playing alone, doesn't matter. A uh, gift, I don't have any friends right now, so that doesn't matter. And then a Joja tile, which goes over the community center. Now everything costs one more donation. Great, super fun, love it. Oh God, okay. And then yeah, I'm good. Well, no, I'll hang on to that because I need to make some friends. Um, Yeah, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna try and make a friend. It is Lewis. Lewis likes crops, which I don't really have, but he will take a forageable. So I will give a forageable, and it is his birthday this season, so I get two hearts. Okay, and then reveal a bundle. Real useless in this particular mode I'm playing, but okay. <laughs> then I will hop back up here. Oh, excuse me. Grab this, it is stone. Stone is fine. And I'm gonna water the crops, which gets me the potato. The potato is gonna be sold. I'm already up there for the end of my turn. So then I'm gonna drop the stone and we will descend in the mines once more. I gotta get all the way to level 12. So that's, that's gonna be tricky. One more season card here. It's already the end of the season. All right, I can flip the cauliflower to its good side. Water the crops, almost there. And then we will do an event card. Giant crops. Choose one planted crop and fill other empty field slots with tiles matching its type and quantity. So I get four more quality cauliflower. That's awesome. That's really awesome, actually. That's perfect. Um, okay, that's all I can do, but that's fine. Yeah, so that's going to be up to 24 gold. Awesome. Okay, that's actually... That makes me a lot happier. Uh, I'm gonna sell this for, th mm, do I wanna sell it? Yes, yes, I, I need the money. Uh, so we're gonna one, two, three. Uh, I will say this bowl, don't like that for holding the money. So that's one thing I would change about this mod, but whatever. Okay, and then yeah, so I sold that because it's got the shipping bin. And so now I'm going to Oh, I could hop over to the mines. Well, I'm gonna need some wood. So let's do some river fishing. We'll, we'll do some river fishing first. So we take all of the stardew die, all three, and then we roll them. Okay, and so now I have one Junimo and two hearts to spend and our river fish. As you can see, it's the blue triangle. Whoops, blue triangle. So this one and this guy. I don't have any bug meat, so I can't get the periwinkle, but I can get the bream by spending the two hearts in the bottom left corner there. So I got the bream. That's not too bad. Then I will uh, hit the fill fish track. Okay, ooh, glacier fish. Do I need a legendary fish? 
I could use it for this, but that doesn't sound like a great idea. So I will I will consider that. Mm, I could fish again. Oh, what's the likelihood I'll get it? No, I'm not going to risk it right now since it's all the way on the left anyways. Uh, I'm going to head up here and I'm going to water my crops. Nice. There we go. And I got a nice cauliflower. Um, this is going to be my spring crop, so no worries on that. Uh, oh, and I get to pick another wood, which I'll put uh, up top here. Okay. I'm almost out of slots, so I'll have to do something about that in just a minute. Uh, let me do... I don't have anything for my end of turn. So we're going to do the end of spring. But first, I'm going to take another quick break. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll be right back. I swear. Uh, BRB. Okay, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had urgent matters to attend to. I just got water all over myself. All right, so that is the end of that turn, and that is the end of spring. So we... Whoops, that's the whole deck. Come on, give me just one. There it is. All right, so we hit, in this case, uh, set up next season. And it does all of the forgeables for us, and then... Uh, normally you would only have one profession, but in this case I have um, multiple, so I'm going to... I'll go with mining. Uh, I'll go with two mining and one farming. So I get to pick one out of these three. What do I get? What do I get? It's the Jade Ring. Okay. Ooh, uh, I will take... I will take this. Hammer. Oh, and I can hear my roommates playing the video game of Stardew Valley out there. When I set this up for a less impromptu stream, I will have uh, some music playing, some of the Stardew Valley music, because I, I bought the soundtrack on cassette, which is fun. Um, but in this current case, I'm just playing a quick game. All right, so I did all that. Oh, I got to get rid of this cauliflower. That's unfortunate, but that's that's fine. And then I could sell stuff, and I absolutely will sell all three of these. So I'll just drop them all in the fish this card. Doesn't really matter. And I get seven coins for my troubles, which I believe means that I have... Whoops, come on. Come on. Which I believe... Yes! That means I have enough to buy my coop. So that's already getting one of my goals done. So let's hop over to the uh, buy, the buy buildings. So it costs for a coop, two wood and 10 gold. So we're gonna take the two wood and we're gonna dump them back into the forgeables for spring. And yeah, I gotta, I gotta pull out my money. One, two, three, five. So I had 12, which means I'll have two more for some seeds, which will be good at the beginning of the season here. And that gets me the coop, which I just flip over here. Nice. And so that means that this one is complete. Since I need to do one building per player, and there is one player. Nice, nice. Okay. So I still need to get some artifacts and things for the museum, and I need to get a couple animals. And the mine? Oh, the mine is so expensive. 
but I want to uh, grow some stuff, so let's get a forgeable. Okay, spice berry, nice. Um, which, yes, I need a heart and a forgeable for that, so I'm going to drop it there. And I am going to buy some seeds for the season. I will go with a three. Yeah, a three and a five. That would be starfruit and blueberry. And that is the end of this current turn. So then we're going to hop this over. Nice quality crop. Let's go with... Let's make the blueberry quality. Uh, first player would change. I could do a gift, but unfortunately, it's just reveal a bundle, so that's no good for me. And then Joja. Uh-oh, what's Joja this time? Oh, that's fine. It's over the buildings. Yeah, it, would, it cost me an additional wood, but I don't care because I rebuilt the building I need. Um, We are going to... We're going to head to the mine for right now. So where oh, where did I put the Stardew die? There it is. We're going to roll these. All right, Junimo and a heart. So that means I could do an event or a geode. I'm going to do an event. They're usually worth a lot more. Hey, I may descend. Exactly what I want. Awesome. Um, hmm. Well, I don't have anything much to do here. So let me let me do the mine again. Let's see if that gets me anything good. Okay, hardened Junimo again. So I could descend or I could grab some bug meat. I'm gonna descend. That'll be a lot more helpful. So those are my two actions this turn. I didn't move. Uh can't really do any of those right well. Let's see, how many hearts do I have? Two. Okay, I should get rid of... For one heart, I can get rid of a Joja tile, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And it's not clear if you're supposed to mix it back in or if you keep it separate, just removed entirely, so I just remove it entirely. Seems a lot more fair. Uh, I'm going to donate both of these, so not going to use this shop action. Um, uh... Oh, whoop, nope, I got a little confused there. So this is the end of my turn, yes. Okay, and I did the Joja. Oh, cool, two quality. Uh, Only helps me for one, unfortunately, but that's fine. That's not that unfortunate, you know? So then I'm going to water my crops to get this, which is nice. Uh, Let me double check. So I need stone or wood. I need a lake fish. I need 10 gold. Should be no problem. And I need any ore. Yeah, sure. That should be fine. So I did that. Going to grab a forgeable. It's a sweet pea. Okay. And then I'm going to do the mine. This is my second action this turn. Two hearts. So the top left corner. Nothing. Great. What a waste. Uh, let's hop over here. Can't do much anything. So we're just going to move on to the next turn. Whoa, is that really the end of summer already? Oh no. Oh, it's going very fast. Oh no! One of these. Uh, Yeah, we're getting rid of the blueberry. It's just not worth as much. Uh, Gift isn't going to do anything because I still only have a Lewis. Event card. Grandpa's Shrine. Uh, Oh, I could replace one of these. Okay. We got... Do, 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 do. Um... Oh, 10 gold per player by the end of the game. I'm going to replace the artifacts one. I don't really like that one very much. Then we'll just shuffle those just in case. And then, yeah, I should be able to get 10. I'm doing pretty good overall. And then I will sell the both of these, which will get me 8. I'm just going to toss them away. I don't need to see them again. So we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whoops, that's too much. I will take one away. I swear. Uh, tie those up. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay. Um. Oh, I kept hitting caps lock. That is incorrect. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do I want? Uh. I mean, it's gonna be the end of summer soon, so I will save my money. Oh gosh. Um. I like to have a, something of a buffer when it comes to crops generally. Let's let's start at the mine. 
Yeah, let's start the mine and I might do some lake fishing. Depending on how well this goes. Okay, I get a geode or two stone. I'm going to take two stone because I can use those to descend in the mine. Okay, and then, yeah, I will do some lake... Nope, can't do any lake fishing. Never mind. So we will just do the mine one more time here. Okay, and then, yeah, I will use this... No. No, I need to descend pretty far, so you know what? I'm just going to take two more stones so we can descend four levels in one turn. That's efficient. All right, now we're going to hop back over here, and then, yes, you can take the descend in the mine action as many times as you want on the end of your turn, so I'm gonna descend four levels. Yes. One, two, three, four. I'm only three away from the bottom, all right. We're getting there. This, I might actually get to the bottom of the mine in this one. I almost never do, it's very difficult. All right, and now all of the forgeables are gonna change, so set up next season. We're in fall, and then I get to pick another profession card. What do I want? What else is up here? Uh, money probably be good. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with farming. Let's go two farming and one foraging. See how that works out. Uh, animal products. Oh yeah, I want tiller. That gives me extra. Um, correct ways up here. It's crops generate plus two gold when you sell them. Are you kidding? That sounds amazing. Heck yeah. So we're going to put all of these in this discard. Okay, and now we're into fall. Whoops, come on. Yep. Oh, what do we get? Uh, One item. Okay. Items are pretty useful. We got the Miner's Treat. Discard to double the rewards gained from any player's mine roll. Okay. That'll be very useful. I'll save that to get some geodes, I think. Or no, I don't really need geodes too much. I need at least one ore, but you know what? That should be fine. Um, okay, so yeah, as we do at the beginning of most seasons, I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to buy three crops. Finding three seems to be the most efficient. Taking all four isn't as good. Okay, so we're going to go with two, three, and four, so some bok choy, an eggplant, and a pumpkin. All right, and that stacks out our stuff there. Awesome. And then, yeah, I'm going to hop back over and take one of these, which is a hazelnut, and I will water my crops. Nice. And then, yeah, that is the end of that turn. What's happening? Oh, come on. It's always a little leggy. Nope, come on. I just want, just one, just one, come on. Yep, there it is. Oh, there we go, yep. So I'm going to lose that bok choy because it's in a green field and it's a green crow. Uh, player would change. Oop, fish move. So two of them get discarded and two more get pulled out. Still no river fish. Or still no lake fish. Well, I could get a river fish. I don't necessarily need it to be a lake fish. Um, yeah. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, okay, and then another Joja tile. What do we got? Uh, what? Oh, the geodes! No! So now it costs three gold on top of an action to do the geodes. That's really unfortunate, but whatever. All right, and then I'm going to sell these for ten. And I will... Uh, ooh, actually I'll sell those for twelve because I have the tiller now. And one of those was a crop. So I'm going to take one ten out, and I'm just going to place this right here so I don't spend it because I will need it by the end of the game for uh, this particular goal. And let's see, I have seven. Okay. Um, so in that case, I am going to buy an animal because I have a coop now. So I'm going to buy a duck. I do enjoy a duck. So we take the duck and tuck him right on our coop. There we go. So now I can uh, do the do this here, but it doesn't help me a ton. That's fine. That's fine. And then I'm going to do some river fishing, see if I can get that legendary fish. I'll take this forgeable. 
Oh, it's a mineral. Okay, so let's pull a mineral from the bag. There we go. What is that? Ghost crystal. Cool. All right, we're going to do some river fishing. So once again, you roll all three. I got to get one, one uh, stardew fruit, whatever they're called. Come on, come on. No! Oh, it was a waste. That sucks. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, that's the end of that turn. So let's see what we got. It's, ooh, Spirit's Eve. Starting player rolls a die. Uh, oh, okay. If I roll the purple this time, I complete a reveal bundle. I did not. Well, that was a bit of a waste, but whatever. Um, okay, we're gonna water the crops as my first action. Then we're gonna hop over here to go to the mine. And I got some fiber. Cool, I need, I need one more. So maybe I'll get some stone here. I need to save at least one. So go into the mine, we roll two dice. Actually get this guy out of here. And we're gonna get two hearts, which is an event. What do we got? It's gain four stone. Oh no, I don't have room for four stone. So I'm gonna gain two and the other two would just have been discarded. So that sucks whatever okay so you know what that's fine that's pretty good so we're gonna hop over here because uh that's the end of the turn and i'm going to descend to the mine once for one stone and i will save the other one for uh for this bundle cool so that's my turn i'm i'm on level 10 i'm on level 10 so only two more and i got uh looks like five more turns. Two of those are season end cards. So I, I, I got it. Yeah, this might, might actually work out for me. Oh no. Ah, crows. Okay. So this eggplant's gone for sure because it's less good. And then, yep, the pumpkin, cause it's the only one in a red field. Dang it. Oh man. Okay. That's, that really sucks. Okay, well, shoot, what was my plan? Yeah, I was going to do the community center. So first, I got to buy at least one more crop because I'm not going to be able to in the next season here. So let's buy, let's buy a three crop, which is the eggplant. And then we're going to community center it up. So we got spring, spring crop. That's the parsnip. So that is complete. Whoop. We got any two materials. We got stone and we got fiber. So that's two materials. Whoops. Come on. Nope. Nope. So that is there. We got that. Uh, we don't have that yet. We have heart plus any forgeable. So this forgeable and this heart. I keep getting a little buzz in the left side here of my headphones is a little irritating. Don't have that yet, don't have that yet, but we have half of those done, we have one of these done, we'll have that done because we have this in reserve. We're getting really close on that one. So that is my turn, but that was pretty effective. Okay, now this is the end of fall. So we're gonna hit it with the, the winter. So, yep, as you can see, there's no winter seed, so I can't do any crops. So hopefully these don't get eaten up. And then I get one last profession. We're going to go with mining, I think. And then one fishing. Let's see what I get. Oops, that's the whole deck. Do not want that. All right, what are my options? Uh, May roll again after resolving a monster. That could be good. Minerals generate plus two. I don't need any artifacts, so that one's out. And this is, oh, it adds a heart. No, I'm going with the bone sword. And it's gonna replace the slammer. Okay. Oh boy. And then winter, what do we have? An event, what's the event? It is flip, flip all forgeable tiles on the board face up. Wow, all of them? Okay. So now I know what these all are. 
Well, that's very useful, actually. Especially this early on. All right, what's the last Joja here? That is uh, buying things. You may not buy more than one seed. That's fine. I can't buy any more seeds anyways, so haha. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, I'm going to sell this this uh, geode here for four tokens. Come on, come on. Give me a coin. There we go. Okay, so I have two, four there. Yep, we're going to go, we're going to water the crops and then head to the mines. I will take this snow yam, which is worth a pretty, pretty penny. And then we will roll it. Okay, so that's stone or geode. I'm going stone so that I can descend to the mines, which I'm going to do right now as my end of turn action. All right, level 11. Ugh, squid kid. I don't know if I appreciate squid kid there, <laughs> but whatever. Um, okay, we're almost at the end. Three more turns. Third to last turn. All right, that doesn't change anything. Fish move. What do we got? Wow, still not... So I got to get this legendary fish. Okay, and then... Uh, whoops. Uh, Joja. That is over Make a Friend, which I haven't even done. And I'm going to sell this yam for another four. So that brings us to eight. And then, yeah, I'm going to do... I'm gonna do some river fishing. I gotta, I gotta get that legendary fish if I want to win this. So let's do it. Nope. And then I gotta do it for my second action. Come on, come on. I gotta get one. There it is. All right, we got the purple. Uh, whoops. Oh, actually, that was a heart and a Junimo. So that should have gotten me this at least. Don't want to totally waste that. Oh, and an item. So yeah, what what am I doing wasting my rolls? I was so focused. All right, and that gives me the incubator. Discard an egg to gain a chicken or a duck. Wow. Oh. Oh, it's only an egg though. That's fine. Uh, and then yeah, this would or actually I'll just hit whoop fill it. And yeah, that would have gotten me this legendary fish with the second roll, which is the end of my turn. But that's still pretty good. So then we're gonna do this. A uh, gift doesn't do anything for me. Event card. A random upgrade card from any profession deck. That could be useful. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with farming? What do I got? Double the gold received when you sell... Oh, I don't have either of those. So never mind. That's just a waste. Whatever. And then we got a Joja tile. It's the mine. I believe that means... Yeah, one mine action per turn. That sucks. And then I can sell, so I'm going to sell this uh, Salmon for two coins. And I believe that is enough to get me a chicken. So I'm going to hop over to buy animals. Spend uh, six of these, not a whole ten. That is six, yep. And that will get me a chicken, which means that I can finish that. Nice. And then we will hop up here, take this, and we will uh, water the crops, which gets me this star fruit. And then that is that turn. And this is the last turn. All right, event card. One wood, one stone, one ore. Stone, uh, I'll just pull it from here, and one iron ore, which is this guy. Okay, so I have to go to the community center. Um, I think I might be able to do this. All right, let me see. Let me think this through. So, I want to sell stuff. Can't sell this fish. I need this ore. 
So I could sell these. That's nine. So that is nine coins. Um, in fact, 11 coins. I believe I've missed it on some other turns, so actually I might have had more. Okay. Uh, whoops, what am I doing? Okay. That'll do it. Okay. And then I'll take my community center action, which is, um, yeah. So I have the legendary fish. That's good. I have the 10 coins that I need. And I have the one ore. Right? And then uh, the mines. Um, I go back here. I have one stone. I use that to descend in the mine. I'm on level 12. And the game is over. And I still have the 10 gold. Oh, I did it. Yes. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is like my fifth game of this. and I've never even come close to winning it. And yes, it's the easier version. You're supposed to reveal the bundles one by one by spending hearts. So I did do the slightly easier version that they recommend in the rule book. So it is still canon. But at least I won one. So I'm pretty happy about that. Very, very happy, honestly. So, wow, okay. That's a good note to end this on. Um, Yeah, I gotta go. I got it. well, I did it about in time. I was hoping to end by 10, and I got about seven minutes. So, I wanna thank you guys very much for watching, whether it's in the past, the present, or the future. And in fact, while I'm at it, let me switch over to a face cam. There we go, you can see me a little bit. Nicer. So yeah, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, whether it's in the past, the present, or the future. If you missed the beginning of the stream, you didn't catch the Oath game or uh, the beginning of the Stardew game, you can check the past broadcast tab right after this. It'll show the last 60 days worth of streams, including this one. You can check out Iggy Kid Twitch Archive on YouTube, which is linked down below, or just look up Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, four words. And that has all of my past games, and this will uh, this stream will show up there in just a bit once I export it and everything. Um, if, let me see. Yeah? Yes, I remember where I'm at. Um, if you want to catch any future streams, there's a schedule down below that says what game on what day. And if you click the line icon and go to the schedule tab, it'll say what hour and what game on what day. Uh, I am going to start streaming more spontaneously, I think. I'll still add it to the, to the schedule if I plan to do it more than a day in advance. But sometimes I'm just going to start streaming. So, you know, I would say those are all subject to change. And I'm going to start doing streams that are not necessarily scheduled. So follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid and turn on notifications. I tweet out right before I go live. Or follow me, click the heart icon, and you can get notifications through email or through the Twitch app, which is a great way to watch. So you should check out the Twitch app. Um, and yeah, that's free. And it'll just give you a notification as soon as I go live. So that's a great way to do it. If you would be so kind, consider subscribing. There's different tiers that each have custom emotes, which I think are pretty fun. Uh, and if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link it to your Twitch account and get one free subscription a month. And I'd appreciate it if you considered giving me that subscription. But in any case, I really want to thank you for inviting me to your home, your computer, your laptop, your tablet, your phone, your Roku TV, your Apple TV, whatever it is you watched on today. I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you will join me for my next stream, whatever it may be, uh, maybe a drop mix stream tomorrow, or um, for sure some more Stardew Valley next uh, next time, uh, Thursday, Tuesday, some I don't know. Like I said, follow all that. Uh, and in any case, if no one else has said this to you, I'll say this to you: you're a good kid. That's gonna be it for me. Goodbye. I'm gonna raid you guys over, so don't so don't go anywhere quite yet. But I'm just gonna turn it off that or whoops that was my old shortcut there we go uh whoops i don't know why it popped over there but whatever so i'm gonna see who is open for rating who is on right now uh, we got Darestrix. hey i like that guy he's a friend so let's let's raid you guys over to them Rain Dara Strix. 
All right. He's playing Sea of Thieves. Go enjoy some pirate action. Join me for my next stream. Have a great weekend, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye.